Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. I thank you to all of my new subscribers while I have been gone, you know, while I was here in December. I appreciate you all. Y'all know over here we talk about fragrances, lifestyle, travel, nursing, a little bit of everything. You can DM me, DM me on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram as well. You can email me if you want to do that. You know, you can ask me a ton of questions if you want to do that. I will, I will hopefully be able to give you a prompt response. You all know that I work at night, so um, give me a day or two to get back to your questions. So, um, you know, that's pretty much it, y'all. Over here, we just have a lot of fun, and we're a wonderful fragrance family, and whatever else you want to talk about for the day. Anyway, y'all, I had an amazing vacation. It was just the most relaxing, probably, even though I wasn't sitting on a beachfront, you know, looking at blue water, it was the most mentally stimulating and mentally a relaxing vacation that I've had in a long time, y'all. Usually I'm running around doing a bunch of things, excursions, all that. Well, this time I pretty much, once I got into Africa or Ghana, I got a chance to rest for a couple days, you know, and, um, oh, my pen just fell out of my head. I got a chance to rest for a couple days and, you know, just have a little bit of fun, y'all. So, um, today, you know, we have a beautiful fragrance haul for you all. Most of these fragrances I ordered towards the end of December. Some I ordered while I was on vacation. Yes, I do order fragrances while I'm on vacation, but that actually should stop because I really should just enjoy my vacation and not, you know, be concerned with scrolling and fragrance by and fragrance net, fragrance X, all of that, y'all. So anyway, but that's what I did in my spare time, order fragrances while I was on vacation. Um, so anyway, um, we have a beautiful haul for you today. Some fragrances that I have been waiting for for possibly almost a year. One that I heard about in the summer on the channel of Mr. Cologne 76 uh, from the House of Goldfield and Banks. He said he was coming out uh, with a more of a feminine geared fruity fragrance for women, you know, because most of their fragrance are like sandalwoods, deep, resinous, you know, creamy. They do have some fragrances that are super fresh, you know, um, that are beautiful as well. But this one's really fruity, y'all. And it's a really pretty vanilla and a really creamy sandalwood as well. And I absolutely love it. So, but without further ado, y'all, um, let's get into this fragrance haul. A lot of these are new releases as well. Some of them are limited releases, you know. So, you know, if you're interested, you know, go to the site, follow them on Instagram, go to the website and get your hands on these fragrances, y'all, if they sound like the notes that you like. We're not gonna be going through a lot of notes today, but we will go through some fragrances because this year I will be doing some single reviews. My videos won't be so chitty chatty and so long, 30, 40 minute uh, reviews, y'all. You already know what I do over here, uh, but we're going to be doing some more of a single reviews, you know, so maybe I can grab your attention a little bit more and, you know, just focus on that one fragrance and give that fragrance a lot of love, y'all, and a lot of attention, especially if I love it as well. So without further ado, we're going to talk about one that um, I absolutely have been trying to get my hands on for the longest. I could not find it. I did not want to pay regular price or retail price for this fragrance. Finally, it popped up on Fragrance Buy and I decided to jump on it. And I do have the original LaBelle and this one is Jean-Paul Gaultier's and this is LaBelle Le Parfum. This is a really beautiful, fruity jasmine vanilla fragrance and I absolutely love it, y'all. We already know that this thing is a little difficult to open, you know but I love the packaging. Now, uh, LaBelle, the original LaBelle, to me, I absolutely love them both. Um, I really wore the original LaBelle a lot when I was in Ghana a couple weeks ago, and um, wow, this is, a, yeah, this is pretty tight. Um, and it's very fresh, and it was definitely great for the summer. Am I gonna be able to get this open? Ooh, yeah, okay, there we go. I don't think I wanna put that top back on there. Um, so it was an amazing fragrance to wear over there in the heat and humidity. Now this one, I would not take over in the heat and humidity. This one is pretty um, good for maybe like summer nights, uh, winter, spring, you know, in the cooler weather. Um, absolutely love this. I've worn this a couple times just to test it. Um, like I said, it's a really pretty, you know, I get a really, uh, a really smooth or creamy jasmine, vanilla, some fruity notes. It's a really beautiful fragrance and I absolutely love it. Like I said, this is La Belle Le Parfum. 
So the next one we're going to get into is a, a limited edition, and this is by the House of Gallagher. I ordered two fragrances by the House of Gallagher. I really, I really wanted one of these fragrances to add to my chocolate edition review and um, my chocolate, my review on chocolate fragrances. But at the time, you know, I had a sample and I really wasn't sure about it. And to me, the sample actually smells different from the fragrance. The sample that I had smelled a little oody to me or barnyardy, so I didn't order it. But since I got a 25% off sale, I decided to order this fragrance. And like I said, this is by Gallagher Fragrances. I ordered two, y'all. So we're gonna start with Wicked Good. And it's a beautiful, a creamy, milk chocolatey fragrance. And that's pretty much what I get from the fragrance. Just creamy milk chocolate. Um, this fragrance is great for layering. Um, the bottles, y'all, they change the packaging. Let me shine that bottle up for you. They changed the packaging, which I absolutely love because I have a fragrance from them, um, Rosé All Day. Sorry if that's a little blinding, uh, but this is a new packaging. And this is a chocolate, Madagascar, vanilla, and tonka bean. You get all of that, but I really get a beautiful, uh, pretty milk chocolatey and a tonka bean in here as well. But like I said, beautiful fragrance. The other one that I decided to get um, was a limited edition. And apparently they brought this fragrance out once before and I guess they're bringing it out again, but limited. And this one is Vanilla Silk, y'all. Another, you know, they changed the packaging again. Beautiful, stunning bottle. These caps are heavy, absolutely heavy. There's plastic inside to secure on the fragrance. Um, I love it. The, the bottle to me is a little masculine, you know, uh, but I absolutely, I think it's really stunning. You know, it's completely different, y'all. So anyway, this is Vanilla Silk. You have some vanilla, you have some uh, white amber musk and woody notes, y'all. So um, the notes are actually listed on the bottle there. Some of the notes, if you can see that. So now, this fragrance, I compared it to Mason Margiela's By the Fireplace. Now, I really wanted to love By the Fireplace. I love Coffee Break. I love Jazz Club. I love Matcha Meditation. I love Whispers in the Library. Uh, but I did not like the smokiness or the fieriness of, um, of by the fireplace. So I, I couldn't take it. So I ended up decluttering it like a week after I purchased it about two years ago, y'all. So anyway, um, I decided to order Vanilla Silk. Now, this fragrance completely reminds me of by the fireplace but it's not as smoky, uh, it's really smooth, and it has a really beautiful vanilla inside on top of the smoky and the woodiness and the beautiful ambria. So anyway, if you do not like, or if you can't take the smokiness of uh, Macy Margiela's By the Fireplace, then I suggest that you try uh, Vanilla Silk by Gallagher Fragrances, y'all. One day, I wore this, and I layered the two together, stunning. Absolutely amazing, such gourmandish fragrances. And um, like I said, these two, they they really belong together because you get that beautiful chocolate and tonka bean, uh, milk chocolate tonka bean, and then you get a little bit of that um, amber um, smokiness and vanilla. Boom, y'all. It's They're amazing together. Absolutely love these two. So um, like I said, the vanilla silk was a limited edition. Um, I purchased these for 22, not 25% off. I was like, why can't y'all give us another 3% off, right? And make it 25, but it was 22% off. Uh, I think it was the beginning of January, y'all. So anyway, the next uh, fragrance we're gonna discuss. Now I did order some, um, some automizers from Max Aroma. That's my favorite place to order automizers from, um, you know, because I get a discount, you get 25% off on top of the sale price. I ordered a Gucci Rush, uh, the one that comes in the red bottle. This is really vintage to me, really floral vintage. And um, yeah, I'm not sure about this Gucci Rush fragrance. Um, I ordered uh, Ambrosia by Royal Crown. Now, I absolutely love Ambrosia's dry down. In the opening, I really like it. Uh, in the dry down, I love it. It's a really powdery, sweet, super feminine fragrance, you know, but it's more of a gourmand to me, almost like an Ambrosia with a whipped cream with like some powdered sugar on it. That's what this smells like to me. Uh, is it full bottle wor worthy? Uh, will I purchase a full bottle? I might, I may, after I wear this, 
purchase that smaller bottle that Royal Crown offers. But yeah, Ambrosia, I've been wearing this since, actually, I've been wearing this since uh, December I ordered this. And, um, you know, I really, I really, really like it a lot, yeah. So get your nose on it. Sample it first, okay? Because it's definitely not blind by worthy. It's very particular. So the next one we ordered and I was super excited about because Sebastian talks about this so much and I love the note of patchouli. You know, I love chocolate. He said it's a chocolate cakey patchouli. Chocolate is my thing, y'all. I eat it every day. Cake is my thing, y'all, which is not good. I don't eat that every day, though, y'all. So anyway, uh, this is by the House of Joe Boy, and this is a uh, psychedelic. Now, this fragrance, this is not for me, y'all. This, the chocolatey, cakey patchouli, is really dirty, and it smells really barnyardy to me. And um, yeah, I can't take it. So anyway, um, this might be for. Sebastian absolutely loves it. You know, I love all of his recommendations, but this one was not for me, y'all. And this is, but it does smell like chocolate. It's a beautiful chocolate. Uh, but this is, uh, you gotta like a dirty patchouli. This is Joe Boy Psychedelic. So moving right along to um, one of my friends, his name is Felipe, and he's called uh, the Gourmand King over on Instagram. I'll link his channel down below. We've been talking all last year. He loves gourmands. You guys know that I'm just like a gourmand queen. Absolutely love gourmands. And I talked about getting tobacco vanille. Now I did order a sample of Tom Ford's tobacco vanille. You know, everybody loves tobacco vanille. And he said, you know what, Marcy? You know what's actually better than tobacco vanille? It's Al Harmain Amber Oud Tobacco Edition. So I was like, are you serious? He said, yes, it's a little more gourmandish. It's a little sweeter. Um, it's not too heavy on the tobacco. It's a little smoother and it's beast mode without the major price, y'all. So what does Marcy do? I go order, uh, I go order Al Hermain Amber Oud Tobacco Edition, y'all. Now I do have tobacco vanille, okay? Ordered this from Max Aroma once again, you know, just to compare them. So we're gonna compare them now, okay? I've already worn this fragrance. It is beast mode. I don't know if this is for me because um, it's really, really toothachey, um, kind of sweet and uh, the amber, the richness is super, super rich, y'all. If I do wear this, I will only be spraying this fragrance two times max, maybe twice, and that's it. I do love a good tobacco. You already know I love a tobacco. Uh, fragrance that I just recently ordered. That fragrance is stunning. If you don't like tobacco, you would love tobacco. It's an all around, I think I did a review on tobacco as well. Um, it's an all around loved tobacco fragrance. And um, try that fragrance if you're not a super huge tobacco fan. It's stunning, y'all. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and spray this. You know, this is probably the only one, the only one that we'll probably spray today. So I'll spray tobacco vanille. Beautiful by Tom Ford. Love it. It almost smells like um silk vanilla too, you know? You know, this one has a little more tobacco, but it's giving me those um Gallagher silk vanilla vibes upon initial spray. You know, so let's go ahead and spray. You know, I love the cases. You know, they're really stunning. These wooden cases, you know, the beautiful fragrance. Now let's go ahead and spray this one. This is a, ooh, you saw that atomizer? Amazing, y'all. So, now it's beautiful. Like I said, you're not getting as much tobacco in this fragrance. And let's go ahead and smell the both of them, okay? Let them dry down a little bit, air out. I didn't get alcohol from either one of them in the opening, which is amazing, you know? I shouldn't purchase, you know, a fragrance that costs a pretty penny and it has, even though this one is very affordable, um, tobacco vanille should not have any alcohol notes upon opening. Beautiful, like a, I'm getting like a spicy vanilla with some tobacco. It's very pretty, very pretty. Is it worth the price? I don't know. Now this one, I'm getting more of, I think there's dates in here as well. I'm getting a little more fruitiness, vanilla, and not too much tobacco. 
but it's very, very similar. I would say at least 75% similar. But this one's definitely definitely a little more gourmandish um, than Tobacco Vanille. You know, tobacco, tobacco Vanille is pretty. You know, and this one is really nice as well. So, you know, Tobacco Vanille I heard was beast. You know, it's a beautiful fragrance. But if you don't want to spend your coins on Tobacco Vanille, then try, you know, Al Hermine Amber Oud Tobacco Edition, y'all. It's a really pretty fragrance and it's beast mode, y'all. You know, beautiful fragrance. But like I said, I get more, I get some dates in there. The dates, vanilla, tobacco. And I get more vanilla and tobacco in here, y'all. So anyway, you all know, um, I think I did a review on this one as well. Um, I hauled this one, you know, uh, Tom Ford Orchid Solil. So we won't discuss that. Go um, watch the video on Orchid Solil, which is a discontinued fragrance. Now, another one that I received because I could not find Orchid Solil and I uh, purchased this one before I went over to Ghana and I didn't get it until like three weeks later uh, because I couldn't find Orchid Solil and I wanted another creamy uh, two gross fragrance and I absolutely love this bottle. You know, I have about, I think six other fragrances from the house of Mimo Paris and this is no other than, and I had to get this. You you all know that I love the Middle Eastern culture. I love uh, some of their symbols and I love the protective eye or the evil eye as some or the third eye, um, some may call it. Um, I wear the necklace. I wear the earrings. I have the caftans. You know, um, it's just, you know, a symbol of what they believe in. And I absolutely love, love, love the bottle. So, and I love the notes as well. I did sample this fragrance before. I think I sent the sample to somebody um, because I was like, oh, uh, maybe I don't want another tuberose fragrance. But actually, I did want another tuberose fragrance. Um, and this is Marfa, y'all. So it um, opens up from the side, you know, and oh, actually, it's almost like a book. Oh, this is beautiful. Didn't realize it opened up like this. Not like the other boxes are a bit different. Uh, let's see if it slides out. Oh, no, it opens up from the front. So it opens. It says the journey. Uh, the journey is the destination. And this is for me because you all know I'm a traveler. Oops, that fell. Protective eye. Let's go ahead and open this up. I love the packaging. Love, love, love the packaging. Love, love, love the bottle. Um, it says here from Paris, seeing fragrances as a journey. Mimo Paris recharts the map of a sensory world steeps in emotion, steeped in emotion, in which magical destinations mingle with potent natural ingredients, y'all amazing fragrance are just such a work of art and you know absolutely love them so this is Marfa and this is a really kind of a sweet creamy uh, tuberose vanillic fragrance and I liked it then but I did not love it but I love the packaging which is a little you know Ridiculous to buy fragrance, but you know, we all do it, right? Um, but the bottle's stunning. You know, I really like the fragrance. So let's go ahead and spray this. I'm gonna spray this on my finger. Check out the atomizer. Fair atomizer, not amazing. Like my girl, uh, Kay Ali's, you know. But I already smell the tuberose, the creamy tuberose, y'all. You know, I get a little bit of greenness, you know. A little earthiness, tuberose, creaminess, but I know it dries down to a beautiful, creamy, sweet tuberose. You know, a little powdery, but you do get that earthiness. But I absolutely love this fragrance, y'all. Stunning bottle, beautiful fragrance. You know, if you love tuberose, um, then this one is completely different from um, Tom Ford Orchid Solil. Orchid Solil has that whipped cream note inside that makes it a little sweeter, you know, on top. But the, and this one's a little more green. So if we'll compare the two, I'll do um, another tuberose review and talk about all of my tuberose fragrances and maybe my top three or top five, y'all. But yeah, uh, love this. This is sophistication in a bottle. This is a dress up fragrance. You know, this is a night out. This is really pretty. I would wear this. You know, and I would wear this all year long. You know, I would wear this in the heat, in the rain, you know, in the cold, like everywhere, y'all. This is pretty. And this is Marfa. 
So the next fragrance we're gonna talk about is one that everybody loves. And uh, they it's not a secret website, but you have to follow them on Instagram. You know, you can, they'll give you your website, you can DM them, they'll send you the fragrance notes, ask you what you want. And this is the House of EBK Fragrances. Um, I did order EBK Ruby and Vanilla. Um, they also sent me complimentary a six, Six, six kit sample set um, and these are two mls each uh, we're going to do a separate review on these fragrances so I can go through each one of these um, I love a couple of them in here I'm not going to tell you which ones but I do love a couple of them in here now this ruby and vanilla y'all okay so this is the beautiful stunning bottle of EBK I've been wanting this for about a year now, and I finally, finally uh, got it. They never go on sale, you know, um, so it's regular price. The site never, the um, Instagram site never goes on sale. Um, and like I said, you, they will send you an email with a with an invoice of the fragrance and then uh, what you have to pay, and then you actually pay it, and then what, two weeks later, you'll get your fragrance, y'all. Stunning bottle, stunning packaging, uh, the top is not magnetic, but the bottle's gorgeous, you know. Um, it comes in this beautiful box with a slide out. I love that Marfa uh, box. That was stunning. You know, it opens up like this. And then it comes with a, a little card about the fragrance. So, the notes in this fragrance, um, it gives you a little bit of a history you know, on the fragrance and their house, you know, and the perfume. Um, and this says, Essence Beyond Known, y'all. So the notes in this fragrance, you have a beautiful vanilla, vanilla absolute. You have bergamot, patchouli, velvety notes, Sicilian mandarin, amber, almond guacwood. I don't really get any almond in this fragrance at all, you know. Um, it says guayac wood, which is oud. Um, it's a little woody. It's not oudy to me at all. It's really, um, if it is, it's a beautiful oud, you know. Um, but what I do get in this fragrance, I definitely get the vanilla absolute. Um, I get the patchouli, which is not a dirty patchouli. It's a really pretty patchouli. And I get the bergamot a lot. Now, let me go ahead and show you the atomizer, okay? I'm going to go ahead and spray that. Beautiful atomizer. Now that atomizer almost, oops, sorry, reminds me of Kayali's atomizer, stunning. And this is actually from Dubai. And I know Kayali's fragrances, I don't know if they're made in Dubai or what, but Dubai, if, if they're made in Dubai, Dubai, you guys are coming with these stunning atomizers, okay? Um, so anyway, in the opening of this fragrance, it's a bit abrasive for me. The bergamot is almost giving me like cleaner vibes a little bit. The ber the bergamot is a lot in this fragrance to me. When I spray it on my skin, when I just sprayed it in the air, it's beautiful, you know? Um, it's like very fresh, you know, you get the citrusy, the mandarin, the bergamot, you know, on top of the vanilla, it's, it's beautiful in the air. On my skin, I'm getting like a cleaner. Now, about an hour into for about 30 minutes now as that starts to dry down about an hour into the fragrances i'm really really starting to like it now i've tested this fragrance about four times um like really really paying attention to it about um, and i'm still going to test it so i can give you a better review about two hours into it i am loving this fragrance but the opening y'all it is not my friend that much. You know, it's like a boyfriend that keeps bothering you that you kind of like, but it's still getting on your nerves. Uh, but you kind of want him to go away for a little bit and then maybe come back every once in a while. Um, that's what this fragrance reminds me of. So <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, in the dry down, after about an hour or two, I am loving this fragrance. It's beautiful, but I have to get to that after that hour y'all. So anyway, we'll do another review on that fragrance. So the next one, 
Um, we're going to talk about the one that I've been waiting for since last summer. Um, it's Sunset Hour, y'all. I ordered this all the way from a private house in Australia. Um, I'm going to link it down below because I can't even remember which one it was. I ordered this before I left. And the, day, and the day that I left to go to Ghana, that's when I got this fragrance. I was so upset because I thought that I was going to be able to take this fragrance over to Ghana and like really wear it and like empty half of the bottle, all of that. But this is gold filled in banks and this is sunset hour y'all i love southern bloom which is a really pretty fruity vanilla as well with a beautiful sandalwood the fragrances i love the sandalwood in the fragrances it's really smooth it's really pretty um this is the bottle love their bottles very classy um this is a really fresh fragrance this fragrance is not even for it's not even for spring it is for the summer y'all absolutely will be wearing this in the summer um of course i did wear this recently just to test it i wore it alone and then one day i layered it with my uh house of siage uh what's the mango one from house of siage I have a brain fart, y'all. So anyway, I layered it with a mango fragrance from the House of Siage, and it was stunning. It was gorgeous. And I smelled fruity and bright. It was one of these days that I had to go to work, and I needed to uplift my spirits. I was tired, you know, a little stressed from the night before. So I, need to put on, I needed to put on something fruity and bright and very uplifting. So I layered this uh, with that other fragrance from the House of Siage. But anyway, this is Sunset Hour. Now, in Sunset Hour, the notes around the back you of course have your italian mandarin you have your desert peach from australia you have a paracord raspberry jasmine absolute ginger from nigeria nigeria yeah I thought it was not and said Niger. Um, ginger from Nigeria, which I absolutely get in this fragrance. I love it. Uh, you get the pink pepper from Madagascar. I love it and I totally get it. Um, you get the sandalwood from Australia. You get the vanilla from Madagascar, cashmere and wood, and benzoin. Um, this is a beautiful fragrance. I'm going to do a single review on it. Love it. And um, that's all I got to say. It's very light. Is it worth the coins? To me it is because I love very airy, fresh, light fragrances, especially in the summertime. Um, you can wear this to work, you can wear this to anywhere. This is not offensive. This is pretty much a safe line by y'all. So anyway, this is good. Sunset Hour single review is coming with the rest of their fragrances because I have a, a bunch of samples and I have three other fragrances, full bottle fragrances as well. So the next one we have is one that uh, Nisha from Spicy Looks talked about, I think Emmy um, from Emmy's World of Fragrances, she discussed, and somebody else. And uh, this is uh, not my first time smelling it, but this is an unboxing. I did smell it once in the store when I was over in Ghana, and then I purchased it. So this is a wash material. I love this fragrance. This fragrance was giving me vibes of something else. It's beautiful, stunning, it's rich, it's spicy, it's creamy. Um, it's a beautiful fragrance, you know? Um, in here, you have vanilla of Madagascar, benzoin, um, you have some frankincense, you get a lot of that. Lab labdanum, absolute, tonka bean, um, you get your oud. It's not a really heavy oud fragrance because, you know, you guys know I'm not a heavy oud type girl. I love really nice, smooth, Feminine Creamy Ouds, um, Patchouli Absolute, Guayac Wood, Osmanthus Absolute, and LME. So what I get in this fragrance, I get vanilla, I get frankincense, I get spiciness, I don't get the oud. Um, it's pretty, you know? Yeah, it's a very resinous. And this is the beautiful bottle of Material Girl. Every time, not Material Girl, it's Material. Every time I uh, say this, I want to be like, Material Girl, that was Madonna, right? material oh <laughs> we are living in or was that cindy lopper somebody correct me in a material world and i am a material girl you know that uh, and this is for your 70s or 80s babies you should know this song or 70s babies because we were teenagers when we were singing this song so anyway let's go ahead and spray material girl material <laughs> but a material girl is wearing it <laughs> so like I said, I really get a beautiful, spicy, um, frankincense, vanilla, vanilla absolute. It's really pretty. Very resinous. I do get a little bit of oud from it now. I did not smell that in the store, but it's very pretty, you know? 
Yeah, absolutely love this fragrance. I only have two other Amouage Love Tuberose in this one, and uh, I smelled a ton of the other ones, but for, for now, these are the only two that I like so far that I can tolerate. Because, you know, Amouage is heavy, y'all. And they are, they have a lot of notes in their fragrances. And, um, yeah, it can be a bit much. So, anyway, another one. I won this fragrance uh, from, and I always forget. I'll link it down below. Scent Explore. Um, for all of those that are on Instagram that did that did the virtual Scent Explore convention, then you had a chance to win some fragrances. They sent you over this huge bag of samples. Um, you were able to purchase some of the fragrances online, listen to the perfumers. It was really nice. Uh, it was kind of in and out for me, you know, because I was a little busy, but you know, I enjoyed it. And guess what, y'all? I ended up winning a fragrance. They emailed me, they sent me over this fragrance and uh, I'm excited. So we're gonna do an unboxing. And this is, never heard of this person before. This is Ignacio Figueras and this is called Aspen. I've seen the bottles before, but you know, I think I've read the notes before too, but they seem like a little masculine. So, you know, I kind of, there was one that I did like, uh, but I don't think it was Aspen. The notes that I looked at, it wasn't Aspen, but I'm excited, okay? So anyway, we're going to, oh, this is a beautiful box, yeah. It opens up like this, beautiful. And I think in this fragrance, from what I remember, because I did look up the notes, it should be fresh. There's some vetiver. There's some cassis in here. I think there's some lavender. Lavender. There's some fruity notes. There's some vanilla. So to me, I think there's some mint in here, from what I remember. Um, to me, it might smell a little fresh and a little green. So let's go ahead and see what this fragrance smells like. Beautiful, stunning bottle. I love the bottle. Most of the bottles that I did see were black, but I absolutely love this bottle. Ignacio Figueres Aspen. A little scared, but you know, the top just pops off. I love that, like a horse hoof. And this is marble, y'all. It looks like marble with a gold trimming. Yeah, that looks like a marble. Beautiful bottle. They, they really paid attention to detail. And this is a magnetic cap. You know, so let's go ahead and spray this baby on. First impressions. I shouldn't have sprayed it on my arm just in case I don't like it, but. Mm, it is a little masculine, you know, but it's very fresh. This reminds me, there's some, I'm getting some tobacco or leather, you know, in this fragrance. I'm getting some earthiness, some greenness, you know. There's a lime in here. I'm getting, you know that lime from Malibu? I'm getting like a really fresh lime in here. Lime. Lime or lemon. I like it. It almost reminds me of Nish, is it Nishane's Hachivat without all of the, without the heavy tobacco note. Yeah, with a little more lemon and lime. I actually like this. You know, it's very fresh. Definitely for the spring summer. I would actually say for the summer. Yeah, we're gonna have to see what this dries down to, but yeah, I think I would actually wear this. When I initially sprayed it, it smelled a little masculine, but then, you know, it got a little more fresh. But I'm definitely getting like lemon or lime peel, like that bitterness of um, and the greenness and a little bit of dirtiness. I don't know if there's patchouli in here. But yeah, I'm getting patchouli as well. Yeah, but anyway, I actually like this. Thank you, Scent Explorer. Um, and this is Ignacio Figueres Aspen. Now, to me, this is definitely unisex. This is not feminine. Um, in the opening, when I initially sprayed it, I thought it was masculine, but it's unisex. Yeah, because that lemon and the lemon or the lime is making it like super fresh and bright. Yeah, but I would definitely wear this in the summertime, y'all. Yeah. Definitely unisex. 
All right, I think that's pretty much it for my haul, y'all. And that's 34 minutes. Like I said, my reviews will get shorter. I promise you all. Um, thank you for watching. I'm so happy to be back with my YouTube family. Love you all. Like I said, thank you to my new subscribers. You know, um, thank you for coming over. Please follow me on Instagram. It's Marshmello or Marcelina. And uh, DM me if you have questions. And y'all, I'm ready to book my next vacation, okay, or my next trip. Work is crazy when I got back. But you know, all the same, I absolutely love it. And I am obsessed with nursing. I'm obsessed with fragrances. And I am obsessed with traveling and giving back when you travel as well, y'all. All right, go check out my Instagram. All right, love you all. Have an amazing day. Go out to the world, spread amazing sihash. Do good, be good, and give back, y'all. Love y'all. Bye-bye.